This is breaking news from KSL. Good evening. Tonight, all eyes are on Utah. President Biden arrives in our state, but it's what happened before his arrival that is catching world headlines tonight. We have team coverage tonight on both angles of this story, the president's arrival and what we expect from his speech tomorrow morning, while another team is covering a deadly FBI shooting in Provo where a man is dead after allegedly making threats against President Biden in the days leading up to his arrival. We'll begin with our team coverage tonight in that shooting in Provo, where we're learning more about the man who was killed in reactions from his neighbors. New special Andrew Adams joining us live right now from the scene with the very latest. Andrew. Well, the emotions have really been all over the place for neighbors, but generally within the range of disturbed. They can't believe that this happened up in this cul-de-sac. Now I'm going to step out and push in, show you what we're looking at, which is basically agents still working around that trailer and trucks. You also see that window over there that looks like it's been pushed in, broken. I mean, that's the most obvious sign, at least here from the police line, that something bad happened here. Now, witnesses say this all began setting up last night when upwards of 20 unmarked law enforcement vehicles collected in the church parking lot here across the street. Fast forward to this morning, and neighbors say things really started getting wild after 6 a.m. At that point, one woman told us she heard three explosions and then yelling, and then she said she heard seven shots, as we all know now. One man ended up dead. Really scary. Really, really. I, I, I'm like, what the heck? We were thinking that he has something going on inside his house, you know, because all these people here, but we don't know. Neighbors say they're slowly getting details from news coverage. They tell us the man that lived here was very clearly and obviously to them anti-government, but also we had people tell us that he was extremely kind to them. They're just struggling to come to terms with what happened here. Obviously, a very violent and deadly ending. Back to you. All right, Andrew, thank you.